In this video, I'm going to show you a little quick how to live stream on a Facebook page. And we're going to be using a software called OBS. And of course, we're going to divide this video into two parts. The first part is going to be how to set up OBS. And the second part is going to be how to actually take whatever you have in OBS and take it, send it to your Facebook page to be able to go live. So right now we have a fresh copy of OBS open. If you don't know how to download OBS, you can go to Google and type in OBS. And the first page is going to appear is going to be OBS broadcast software. Just click on it and you should see a page that looks like this. So if you're using Windows, Linux or Mac, depending on what you're using, you're going to go ahead and actually download the version that goes with your operating system. And then once you're done downloading and installing, just follow instructions. It's super, super easy. The fresh copy of OBS should look like this. We're going to create our first scene, which is going to be our welcome scene. And then what we need for this one, we're going to go to sources and we're going to hit the plus sign and we're going to bring in an image. I have an image that says welcome. So that's the image that we're going to use. So we're going to go ahead and hit add image and then I'm going to browse and then I'm going to go to my desktop. I have this image that I have already saved and I have this graphic that I created. It's called welcome. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and actually click OK. And right now, this is our first scene where before we go live, we're going to have this. Now you can make it whatever you want. You can create it. an actual photo. Maybe I have a picture of yours on the welcome screen, whatever you want. Be creative or it could be a video. But for now, we're just going to keep it simple. It's going to be a welcome to the stream. It will be live in a moment. You can even use a countdown timer depending on what you want. All right. Now for this scene, we're going to go ahead and actually add some music as well. So we're going to go ahead and hit the plus sign and then we're going to use this media source and then we're going to just call it music, right? Cause when people are waiting for you to go live, you want to have some music playing. Now we're going to go ahead and actually check the looping option and then we're going to go hit browse and then I'm going to look for some music here that I have and then hit okay. And of course, the music should be playing right now. As you can see, it's playing. Now, if I had, uh, you know, some headphones, you can actually hear it playing and you can see on my mixer is actually playing no problem. So what you need to do for the music actually to be able to monitor it, you need to go to the audio mixer here and then right click and then go to advanced audio properties. And then where it says music, you need to make sure you check monitor and output. All right. That case, it's going to start playing in your headphones. So whenever you go live, you are able to actually hear it or monitor it and know what's going on. All right. You can also pause it. You can restart it. You can do whatever you want with the music as long as you have your cursor kind of on it. All right. So that's a welcome scene. Now, the next scene is going to be our main scene. We're going to go ahead and call it main. And that's actually our main camera. All right. I'm going to go ahead and actually add my camera. I'm going to add a video capture device. Now, you would have your camera connected via a capture card or it could be a webcam. Whatever you have, it's going to show up here. All right. So what you need to do, we don't need to name it. We can keep it the way it is video capture device or you can name it whatever you want. We're going to hit OK. And then for the list of all the cameras that I have, in my case, I'm going to be using Streamlabs desktop virtual webcam. That's my camera kind of going through my software that I'm using. But in your case, it's going to show up here. So it could be a capture card. It could be an ATEM mini or black magic design. So depending on the capture card that you're using, it's going to show up here. And don't worry, you should be able to see it for the resolution type. You can just use custom if you want, and then you can actually choose 1080p just to make sure you match the actual resolution that you're sending. And for the rest, just keep it the way it is. You don't have to complicate yourself. Hit OK. And then boom, we have our camera. Now we have our camera, but we don't have our audio. So we're going to go ahead and actually add a microphone for audio. We're going to go ahead and add another source. It's going to be our audio input capture. It's going to be, of course, the microphone that we're using. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And I'm going to find all the list, like the list of all the microphones that I have available right now. This is my Vocaster one, which is 
the interface that I'm using so I can go ahead and actually choose that one. So we have now our camera, we have our audio so people can hear us. And then we have our first scene, which is the welcome scene and some music. Boom. And we are good to go. Usually I will add another scene, which is like, you know, uh, end of the stream or something like, you know, stream ending soon or something like that. So depending on what you want, the amount of scenes that you could create, it's just endless. So you're going to be you depending on the show that you're building. You can do some screen share if you want to share your screen. I have a video actually about how to share your screen and I'm going to link it down below for sure if you want to check it out. But other than that, for the sake of keeping this video simple, we're just going to keep these two scenes for now. All right. So the next thing we are going to actually uh, go to settings, just to make sure everything is good. And before we actually go live to Facebook, the general tab, this is not really that important. Make sure you use the language that you're supposed to be using and the theme. If you want to keep it white or dark or whatever, like theme that you want for me, I like this one. It works well for me. So I'm going to keep it this way. And that's pretty much it for the general tab. Another tab here that we have is the stream tab. Okay. And this is where we're going to set up our stream. So connect OBS to Facebook. All right. Before we go there, we're going to go to the output tab. Okay. And you want to make sure, especially if you're streaming on Facebook, the maximum bit rate that you can get is 4,000. So you want to make sure you type in 4,000 to get the highest quality audio bit rate. You can actually keep it the way it is. And of course, we're going to go to video here. The base canvas, if you're using a monitor that's 1080, you want to make sure you keep it at 1080p. And the output resolution, you want to make sure is actually at 1280 by 720p because that's what actually Facebook takes. Now, if you're not gaming, you're going to actually keep the FPS values at 30 frames per second, and that should do the job. The next phase is really before you do anything, make sure you hit apply okay and then for the stream option because this is where we're gonna be sending our stream to facebook so for the service we want to make sure we actually keep it to custom all right i know you'd be tempted to actually keep it to facebook live you don't have to do that you could do it but custom it will still do the job as well so we're gonna need the server url and we're gonna need the stream key from our facebook page so now i have my facebook page already open and what you need to do usually you would have this live video button available under what's on your mind as if you were going to make a post so what you need to do is you need to hit the live video button and then hit go live all right and then as soon as you hit the go live button, you should be able to get this tab right here. All right. You need two main things from this part. The first thing you need your streaming key and you need your server URL. So we're going to go ahead and actually copy the server URL first. And then we're going to go to OBS. We're going to go to settings and then we're going to go to stream. Again, we have everything service on custom server URL. I already have it because I was streaming. But what you would do, you would just copy and paste whatever you just took from Facebook and then hit apply. OK, and then you would go again back to your Facebook page and you're going to go to the streaming key again. Always hide your streaming key, hit copy. And then what you need to do is you're going to go back to OBS, go to settings, go to stream and then go to where it says stream key. And then you're going to go ahead and actually paste what you got from your Facebook page. Hit OK. By now, we are ready to actually go live. What you need is you need to hit start streaming in OBS. And if we go back to Facebook page, as you can see, I have a signal. So if I go to OBS, if I choose the welcome scene here, you can see if I go to Facebook, we have the scene has actually been changed. Let's go ahead and actually go back to OBS and change the scene to the main again. And then as you can see, go back to Facebook. It's going to change in a few seconds. As you can see, it has changed, right? Everything looks good. Now the next step is to really go here where it says add post details and then click on it. It's going to give you an option to add your title. You could call it test and then description let's call it test as well 
And once you have that, hit save. We have this button that actually allows us to go live, right? So as soon as I hit this button, we are going to go live on Facebook page. So people are going to be able to see us publicly. Obviously, I don't want to do it because I did not plan to go live. We just look weird. But this is it, guys. Just make sure we're here where it says select video source. Don't use the webcam, okay? You need to use the streaming software because we are actually using OBS, all right? This is very important. And then, of course, as we just mentioned, use the streaming key here. And of course, under advanced, you're going to have the server URL. You need both links to be pasted into OBS. And after that, you should be able to go live. No problem. OK, so that's how you do it, guys. That's how you go live on your Facebook page. Now, there's so many settings that you may actually need uh, if you want to go deep and kind of understand how to set up like do all the settings to get the highest quality back in obvious have a video that that's actually dedicated 100 percent on the best settings for facebook live that i'm gonna link right here and i also have another video that i'm actually linking here that will actually give you everything you need including your cameras your capture cards how to set up everything so the gear and the software part and that's going to help you to kind of go deep into kind of creating the whole thing, not just the OBS part. And that's going to be super, super helpful. So make sure you check them out and I'll see you guys there.